Hey! Any fash? 10th of September, 2019. Um, I woke up very early this morning. First off, knowing that your prayers were heard. Thank you all. I love you so much. God bless each and every one of you. It really does matter. And I'm praying for all of you as well as we see the time approaching. There's just no way around it. And when I woke up this morning, of course, I, I had 9-11 on the mind, but more importantly, I had a scripture that came immediately into my mind, and it was 2 Thessalonians 2.10. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. Received not, did not accept the gift of truth, you know, People are just in a delusion. They, they have no idea that they're involved in a spiritual war and that their eternal soul is the prize, if you will. It's just sad to watch, man. For this cause, God's going to send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie. And there are many lies, but let's face it, folks. When you have this occurring, you just can't deny it. The world can therefore seize this opportunity to fulfill the long-held promise of a new world order. We can find meaning and reward by serving some higher purpose than ourselves. A shining purpose, the illumination of a thousand points of light. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. A world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order. Good evening. Today, our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack in a series of deliberate and deadly terrorist acts. Thousands of lives were suddenly ended by evil, despicable acts of terror. The pictures of airplanes flying into buildings, fires burning, huge, huge structures collapsing, have filled us with disbelief terrible sadness, and a quiet, unyielding anger. The search is underway for those who are behind these evil acts and to bring them to justice. Tonight, I ask for your prayers for all those who grieve, for the children whose worlds have been shattered, for all whose sense of safety and security has been threatened. And I pray they will be comforted by a power greater than any of us, spoken through the ages in Psalm 23. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. None of us will ever forget this day. And at that point, we were taken for another round of questioning, this time related to our allegedly being members of Mossad. The fact of the matter is, we are coming from a country that experiences terror daily. Our purpose was to document the event. Our purpose was to document the event. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariot in fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Thousand points of light. What did that mean? Does anyone know? I know one thing. Make America great again, we understand. Thousand points of light. I never quite got that one. I'm trying to say, what the hell is that? Has anyone ever figured that one out? Call on the name of Jesus. He'll hear you. And he'll reveal the truth to you. You only need to accept it. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord 
and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 